love my friends. Welcome to the 30 days rank push challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. We're on day 13 today. Here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today, we will talk about three attack items, Malefic Roar, Blade of the Hapter Seas and Hunter Strike. First, the five shadows of today goes to Slyrod TV, Emil Van Reina, Ice Bear Potato, Abrasiam and Kuraku. As always, write something nice to get the chance for a shoutout and all giveaway infos are in the description. Now, let's get into the meaty part. First, we will go through the stats of Malefic Raw. It simply gives you plus 60 physical attack. It also has a unique plus 35% physical penetration effect. To clarify what physical and magic penetration means, it basically tells you how much of the enemy's armor is going to be ignored while dealing any physical or magical damage to them. So for example, if you play against an enemy with 100 physical defense and you have 35% physical penetration, then the armor from your enemy is effectively only 65 because 35 of it is going to be ignored. If your hero deals magic damage, you have to build magic penetration items to counter the magic defense from your enemies. Simple, right? Otherwise, it has one effect that is called armor buster. Each physical defense point from your enemy increases the physical penetration by 0.05% when you deal damage to that target. It's capped at 20%. Quick math test. When the enemy has 100 physical defense, how much does the physical penetration increase? Exactly. It's increased by 5%. I'm using our favorite tank, Layla, for the demonstration. The enemy has 465 physical defense and without the physical penetration, I deal 45 physical damage. If I buy Malefic Raw now, I have a total of 60% physical penetration. So the damage increases to 108. That's a huge difference. By the way, something I've noticed. There is no up-to-date damage calculator online or anything, right? If you know one, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, this would be maybe a good idea for a community project. So, what do you think? In which state of the game should you buy this item? Early, mid or late game? The answer is mid to late game. In the early game, the physical defense of your enemy is so low that the 35% damage reduction is having almost no effect. For this, you better get one of the other two items we will talk about later. So, I would usually recommend that you build this as your fourth to sixth item. By the way, you can always check the attributes from your enemy here. For example, if you play against a bunch of mindless enemies who haven't built any physical defense items, you don't need to build this item. Better switch to another attack item that generally increases your damage more. On the other hand, if your enemies build a lot of physical defense items, you should definitely consider to build this item to counter it. These little details can massively increase your performance and therefore your win rate. Now, let's continue with Blade of the Hapter Seas. We start again with the stats. You get plus 250 HP and plus 70 physical attack. It also gives you plus 15 physical penetration. Not 15%, it's a fixed amount. If the enemy have 40 physical defense, it get reduced to 25. If an enemy would have zero physical defense, it will drop to minus 15 by the way, and you will deal more damage than calculated, just as a little side info. So this effect is more useful in the early game. The passive of this item is called Ambush. If no damage is taken or dealt within 5 seconds, the next basic attack will deal extra physical damage equal to 160 plus 40% physical attack. It also slows down the enemy by 40% for 1.5 seconds. Again, let's do a little bit math. When you have 200 physical attack, how much damage are you dealing? 40% of 200 is... 80. So, 160 plus 80 is 240 damage you just steal from the passive effect. Minus the physical defense of your enemy, of course. I'm using Layla again for the demonstration. You can see with this icon that the passive is ready. After using my basic attack, I deal the additional damage. And after 5 seconds not dealing or receiving any damage, the icon is back and the passive is up again. Very simple. So, who is this item for? This item can be used by heroes who uses basic attacks regularly. If your combo is purely based on skills, then this item is nothing for you. And if you have a hero who heavily relies on other stats, like attack speed, bell vamp or crit damage for example, you shouldn't build this item as well. Also, I would recommend 
that you build this item as first core item, if you use it. In the early game it's the most effective and it's quite cheap, so you can build it fast. You can also think about to sell it in the late game, to replace it with another attack item with better stats or a defensive item for example. Some heroes you can use it on are Cho, Khaled, Freya, Aldu or Jawhead. Last, let's talk about Hunter Strike. But before that, I gave you today's secret keyword. It is... Pen. Again, all giveaway infos are in the description. First we will go through the stats again. You get plus 80 physical attack and a 10% cooldown reduction. Like Blade of the Hap Seas, it also gives you plus 15 physical penetration. The passive effect is called Retribution. When you deal damage to the same enemy or creep 5 times in a row, you will increase your movement speed by a whopping 60% for 3 seconds. This effect has a 10 seconds cooldown. I'm using Ranger this time for the demonstration. After hitting the enemy 5 times, you can see that he is becoming speed. If I hit multiple enemies, this effect does not trigger. You have to hit the same enemy 5 times in a row. So, who is this item for? Your hero should obviously be able to hit the same enemy 5 times in a row and benefit afterwards from the extra movement speed, either to chase down the low enemy or to retreat after a successful engage. Examples are Granger or Saber. The cooldown reduction is also not hurting you. It's a nice bonus. Now, go and check out the whole item guide playlist. You will need it at the end of the challenge for the make your own build guide. And if you're a daily viewer, thanks for coming by every day. I really appreciate it. See you tomorrow, have a great day 